So my main persona is actually Minako. I created Minako about 10 years ago, way before I even knew anything about the furry fandom. I just wanted to create a wolf version of myself. And so I created Minico, which is a Mexican wolf, and they are a subspecies of the gray wolf. And I chose Mexican wolf because I am myself in Mexican. I was actually born in Mexico City, which is way over here in Mexico. And now I live in Northwest Ohio. So I don't know how that happened. But here I am. Life works in mysterious ways. So what is she like? I would describe her as being friendly, caring, calm, quiet, and protective. Which I would describe myself as being the same way. Because again, Minako is just supposed to be a wolf version of myself. So she is me. And that is also why I chose a more neutral expression to her fursuit head because I am relatively quiet and I am always a very calm, you know, just level kind of person. And so an overly excited and, you know, very dynamic sort of expression just would not fit with Minico because it, it would not describe me at all. Um, yeah, like most pursuits are just very overly happy and that would not represent me at all. I am more quiet, more chill kind of a person. But I am very friendly and I love to smile a lot. So I do have a very subtle, perpetual smile, which is very important because, like I said, I like to smile a lot and a lot of people actually notice this. You know, my friends and everyone really just always notices that I'm always really happy and they're like hey how are you always really happy like why are you always smiling <laughs> and they actually kind of like make fun of me in you know a silly teasy kind of way and it's pretty cool I like that a lot and actually I work um, with children right now with a after-school program at my church and they notice it too, and I just think it's hilarious. They're like, why are you always so happy? Like, why are you always smiling so much? And some of the older kids will answer and be like, oh, she's just a happy person. She's like joy from inside out. And I just think it's the cutest thing. But yeah, so I like to smile a lot, so that's important in my fursuit head. Even, you know, a subtle smile, which is usually the expression I have on my face. Um, it, it's also important that, you know, when I kind of look down, it looks kind of angry, I guess, like subtly kind of like annoyed. And that's important too. And that actually goes along with why the eyes are red. Because Medico actually has three forms, okay? She has this form, which is her normal wolf form. Her other form is a demon form, which is where the red eyes come in. And another form she has is a guardian form. And I will talk more in depth about those three different forms in another video, because that would require some more in-depth explanation and her, about her transformations and everything like that. But, just so you know, that's kind of what the red eyes are about, about this demon form that you guys have yet to know about. But I'll talk about that in another video. Now, why did I choose her colors? Well, it's very straightforward. I have brown hair, so brown, and tan skin, so brown and tan. And this character has a very simple design. Um, you know, when I created her, I didn't want to go crazy. She just was... A wolf version of myself I wanted to express you know just natural colors natural um, kind of color design or markings design whatever 
And yeah, it also describes myself because, you know, I just like to express natural beauty and I'm not overly like worried about the way that I look. Like I, I like natural beauty and I don't go out of my way to try to express it even more. So I know a big question here is going to be, if Minako is your main persona, why didn't you just create a suit of her first instead of making Rude into a suit? What's that all about? And the answer is that, well, the first thing is that, again, I created Minako before I even knew about the fandom, so um, she was just a wolf, you know, a feral wolf, and seeing her as an anthro- a more humanoid, a more anthro character, you know, and as a fursuit just seemed kind of weird to me. In fact, I only have two drawings of her which are in a more anthropomorphic form, you know, more human form. And one of those was for an art trade, uh, the person that I was trading it, we create- <laughs> The person that I was trading with requested that I make um, an anthroform of their character and my character playing video games together. So I did that. And another drawing is one that a friend of mine made, which I really love. I really love this drawing, especially now that I have my suit. Like, it just fits so well. It's amazing. I love it. But yeah, those are the only two images that I have of Minako being a more anthropomorphic character because she is, you know, supposed to be a more feral type of character. I have so much artwork of her, so many sketches, so many finished drawings. I mean, I've had her for 10 years and yeah, she, there's a lot of art of her. So only having two pieces of art of her that are you know, actually anthropomorphic, then, you know, that's, that's a very little amount. So it was just kind of hard for me to want to make her into a fursuit, I guess. Um, and another thing is that I thought it'd be kind of a boring fursuit because it's just myself, you know, I'm not going to be acting any different in my fursuit than I'm going to be without my fursuit, you know? <clears throat> Sorry. Throat. <clears throat> so I thought it'd be kind of boring. I really like the performance aspect of fursuiting. That's what I, attracted me into the furry fandom. And so I wanted to have a character that I could actually, you know, have to perform in, that I could, you know, act in and play a different character and not just myself. Like, hey, I'm gonna go cool, let's high five, you know, like, I'm just myself, like, that's not as fun, I need a character that I can, you know, be, play a different character, and I can act, and just, that's why I created Rude, um, and that's why I didn't make Minico at first, but of course, now that I do have her, I am very happy that I did, and I am so excited to have her as a fursuit, so... And I was totally wrong about her being a boring fursuit. I l I'm really loving this. Now there is a lot of overlap with Rude and Minako. So in another video I am going to point out similarities and differences that they have. Because it might not be very obvious to you guys if I'm just vlogging for you to be able to see the differences and similarities in their character. And as far as what I'm going to do with Minako for my YouTube, um, don't worry, Minako is not going to be taking over this YouTube channel. This is still Rude Hyena. She is, you know, the main star of the show. But um, now that I have Minako, again, this is just myself. So Minako might be taking over some of the vlogs uh, where I can just express you know, my ideas freely without having to worry about Rude and, you know, how I am going to represent Rude and her character and, 
think, oh, what would Rude say and stuff like that. So I just, so I don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. Uh, Medico might take over some of the vlogs. Um, and because Minico, I can express more of myself, such as my Mexican culture. I'll probably use that to my advantage to make videos that are more oriented towards, you know, my culture and like maybe dancing to more Latino music. Um, and make videos that are kind of more related to, you know, Spanish or Mexican culture. Oh, and also, Minico can talk to you guys about fursuit building. I can show you some fursuit building stuff as Minico. And actually, I will make a video soon about how I shape my phone, since foam, uh, I sound like I said phone there. But I'll show you guys how I shape my foam since. I have been asked so many times about that and don't worry I'm not annoyed I'm just saying that a lot of people want to know so I want you know to be able to help you guys out so everyone can know the answer uh, so I'll show you guys how I make my foam all smooth like and stuff I, I'll make a video about a comparison between me and Rude and I will make another video about Minico's three different forms. Um, yeah, so that's all I have for you guys today, and I will see you in the next video.